Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make a very delicious curry of potatoes and drumsticks without tomatoes and a very few spices. It's a very easy and simple recipe and really very delicious to eat. So guys, let's see the recipe. Here I have taken two medium sized potatoes and three long drumsticks, peel them off and cut them into pieces and after that wash them properly. And here two medium sized onions finely chopped and one tablespoon full of crushed garlic. I skipped ginger but you may take one tablespoon of ginger, crushed ginger if you want. And on the other hand I have taken about four tablespoon full of roasted peanut powder. This powder will make our curry more delicious so don't skip it. And now I am adding some cooking oil in the pan. When the oil is heated well, I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, 2 to 3 red chilies, 2 to 3 bay leaves and a pinch of asafoetida. We have to let everything crackle well and after that we need to add the onion. So now I am adding onion in the pan. We have to fry the onion until a light brown color and it's a light brown color. Now I am adding the crushed garlic. After adding garlic we don't need to fry it for a long time. Now I am adding the veggies into the pan. Both the veggies at a time. I am stirring a little. And after adding the veggies we need to add some spices also. So at first I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon full of coriander powder. I am adding half teaspoon twice and red chilli powder according to taste and half teaspoon full of garam masala. I am stirring very nicely. I am showing you a shortcut process of this recipe because I actually had a very short time to make this dish. I have added a little water in the pan to cook the spices now. So now I am mixing very nicely. Before covering the pan we have to add some salt according to taste and after that we have to cook the spices and the veggies of course with a lid on uh, medium to low heat for about 5 to 6 minutes until the water is dried up nicely and some oil is released from the spices. In between we must uncover the pan and stir the veggies nicely to avoid burn from the bottom and now the veggies are ready the spices are also ready. So now I am adding water for gravy. Keep the water quantity according to your choice. It actually depends on how much thick or thin you want your gravy to be. So I have added water. Now we have to mix everything very nicely and after that we have to cover the pan for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the veggies are cooked about 90%. So now the veggies are 90% cooked. I am showing you. They are not cooked fully yet. So you can notice that they are cooked about 80 to 90 percent. So now we have to add the uh, roasted peanut powder here. You can change the quantity of roasted peanut powder there is no problem according to your choice. So I have added about 4 tablespoon full of roasted peanut powder and now we have to mix everything very nicely again and after that I am going to cover the pan again for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the veggies are cooked 100 percent. So now the veggies are cooked very nicely, perfectly. I am showing you again while checking. So guys you can see that the veggies are cooked very nicely. Now at the end of this recipe you may add some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped but actually I didn't have them so I skipped them. Now our curry is done so I turned the heat off and uh, served the curry hot. So guys you have seen that the recipe is super easy and it's very 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 delicious with especially boiled rice but you may enjoy it with roti, chapati and paratha as well there is no problem it's also very delicious with them. So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me.